guys welcome to trending reviews so pretty excited i received this brand new speaker today it's the studio femto anthracite bluetooth speaker now anthracite is the color of this speaker and it comes in three different colors in addition to black and also white now i just think this looks so nice and it's quite compact it's quite lightweight now today i'm going to give you an unboxing to see what else comes with this and obviously an audio test to see how powerful that is now this was just released last week so i'm pretty excited to try it it's a brand new line of speakers by studio and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below of where you can buy it. It comes in at 99 pounds, but I'll leave a discount code for you guys if you wanted to get it a little bit cheaper as well. So make sure you check the description for that. So let's go ahead and look at the unboxing and we'll get straight into the review. Okay, let's go ahead. This is a very nicely built box. So here you have the speaker. I really like that design and that coloring. Let's take that out. Take a look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. You got that nice fabric gray. You have this anthracite color there. It's like a gold copper type color. You have them both on each side and you have the speakers that bounce there. Else in the box, you have the user guide. Let's go ahead. So you have a quick owner's guide, which gives you an explanation about all the different buttons. Then you also have a warranty card and some terms and conditions. Then you also have a small USB-C charging cable. Inside you've got a little quick start instruction uh, sticker there as well. So that's everything in the box. Now let's take a look at the design. So you have a few buttons there along the top. So starting off, this is the on off power button. You basically hold that down for a couple of seconds to turn it on. You've got the volume up, the play pause, volume down, and you also have a Bluetooth pairing button there, so you hold that down for a couple of seconds. Now you can also skip track and go to previous track. If you hold uh, the plus button for a couple of seconds, that will go to the next track, and likewise the volume down button, it will go to the previous track if you hold that for two seconds as well. On the front, you actually have the nice studio logo there in the same material, color, and design of the side of the speaker. At the bottom, you have some information and some specs as well. So very minimal, you can see it's actually quite compact. Now let's go ahead and turn this on. You should see some lights here on the front. I'll explain that in a second. So hold that down for a couple of seconds. Now you hear the confirmation noise. That last beep was to show that it was connected to my phone. So I have paired this already. You saw that there was a couple of LED lights that came on here. Now there's actually four lights there, each indicating 25% of battery life. So right now it's about 50% battery life, so I can charge it to full amount. And that last light there, the fifth one, is the connection status light as well. So you can always have a look there to see how much battery life you have left. Now this also has a built-in microphone as well. So if you wanted to take phone calls, then you can do that using this speaker. Now on the back, if you open up this little compartment, this is where your USB-C charging port is. And you also have an auxiliary port there as well if you wanted to connect this to maybe your TV or another monitor and play the output of the audio through the speaker. So this comes in at an amazing 14 hours of playtime on a full charge, but it will take about four hours to give you a full charge as well. In addition to that, it is IPX6 water protection proof, so it's splash proof. I wouldn't drop this completely and submerge it into water, so obviously that would break it. But let's go ahead and test the audio on this. So that was a quick intro to the unboxing and a bit of a spec overview of the device. One thing to note is you can also pair this to your phone with two of these devices as well and have a more immersive sound experience. So it's really cool that you can connect this and have both wireless speakers maybe around your living room as well and uh, distribute the audio into your space. Right, so let's go ahead and listen to the audio and see how powerful this thing is. All right guys, so let's go ahead and play some sample audio. Now I'm gonna have it about 70% volume. My microphone is about 60 centimeters away from the speaker as well, so hopefully it gives you a bit of a clarity on how the audio sounds. So I have it connected and I'm just gonna play a song. I come and go like a rah, rah, rah. They don't want the two be going nah, nah, nah. I'm coming back with the money in the bag. In my lab, yeah, I'm running for the cash. I come and go like a round, round, round. Putting in the word like I'm way behind. 
Now the audio is about 70% but I'm going to turn it up to 100% using the volume button on here and I will show you on the side to see the little side speakers and the subs bounce a little bit as well so hopefully you guys can see that. Remember when we did it for life, just noticing All these frames got me trimming a knife Always on some new thing like riding a bike Let's do things in one city But I don't feel like selling for the time being When I was young I used to dream about the palm trees After the summer achievements I got a long sleeve Supposedly, think about it In reality you running out of options Starting to see the coffin with the Bible preach I'm way ahead on a private beach My hair bleached on the cover of a magazine I got the flavor doing push-ups on the coca bean Doing all the things you can't imagine what it might be All these women trying to write me The actual feedback from the buttons to the audio is very fast as well I've seen some speakers where they have a tiny bit of delay Like when you go to the next song or you play in pause it takes a couple of seconds this is almost instant, not completely, but it's very fast and very responsive. The buttons are rubber as well, and they're very nice to touch and press as well. And I love the design of this as well, and you see the speakers bouncing on both sides. So that is an amazing little punch and bass in there as well. The quality sounds better than any of the other speakers that I've used in the past as well. Okay, so from my point of view, I think the audio quality on this is amazing. Now, there's a whole bunch of wireless Bluetooth speakers that you can buy right now. But for me, this is probably the best one I've had so far. The bass in it and the subs in there, it's just so punchy and it's quite powerful. I would rather set this up with my TV than the inbuilt speakers for that as well, the one behind me. So for me, I think the audio quality, it's just something that you can take to parties. You can even take it out in the park or when you have a picnic or something. And it really can be heard from far away because it is quite loud as well. So for me, an absolute excellent audio quality speaker that you can buy. So that's about it guys and uh, you guys let me know how you think the review was for this as well and uh, if there's anything else you want to know about this then do drop a comment below and do check out the discount codes that I have in the description as well if you wanted to get a set of these. It's beautiful, the audio is beautiful and I can't find any faults with it. It's so easy to set up and it just works straight away. So that's about it guys. I hope you subscribe. I've got a lot more speaker reviews coming out in the future. I do a lot of headphone reviews and a lot of tech gadget reviews in general. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those ones and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.